Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install the HyperPi PC, uh, the official version that um, has been released on Arcade Punks, or if you got my version as well, um, the installation is the same. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, once you download it um, from, from the link on my Patreon page, you're going to have a hyper, HyperPC.7zip and I'm gonna cut mine. Now it must be on a drive H, so you must have an H drive for this to work. Uh, once you do, just paste it into the root of H, go ahead and right click, and do it extract here. Um, now it's gonna take a bit, it's a large, large file. Once it's done, you're gonna have a folder called HyperPC. So once you have that, first thing you're going to want to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, you're going to want to add some ROMs. So the ROM packs um, can be found on Arcade Punks, and I'll I'll leave a link uh, in the description of this video, and you can add all your ROM packs into here. Next thing you're going to want to do is go into Rocket Launcher and we're going to go into media and we're going to go into fonts and you're going to see this Babus new <laughs> uh, just go ahead and right click that and click install and install that I've already done it um, but you guys would do that go ahead and install that once that's installed it doesn't take long you're going to want to go back and go into utilities so in the utilities, you're going to want to use this uh, DirectX setup. If you don't have DirectX installed, you're going to want to install that. And the next step is to install all of the visual runtimes. So they're all here for you. Um, I, you will need an internet connection for this to, to work. And the way I installed them was I just started at the oldest year and worked my way up and installed them all until I had all the new ones installed. So, once that's done, um, now this is already, the emulators are pre-configured for an Xbox 360 controller. Um, I used a PS3 controller and it worked as well. They were already configured. Uh, so go ahead and do that. And once we have that done... You're going to want to go to Emulators and RetroArch System. And you're going to have to go online and find all the BIOS files. Um, unfortunately, I, I can't link you guys to the BIOS files. You're going to have to find them all. Um, and put them into this folder, into the RetroArch System folder. So now... By, at this point, you should have all of your DirectX and your visual runtimes installed. You should have your ROM packs added and also your BIOSes uh, installed. And you have a shortcut already um, that's here. You can copy and paste that anywhere you want uh, for your track.exe and that's it and then you can just run a track mode make sure you have your controller plugged in so I'll just run it here and I'm just gonna mute this and there we go so I've added and you can take away wheels if you want to um, I've added a, a few things to mine. Cody's already there. And you've got a whole bunch of collections wheels. I'll go to, I don't know, Street Fighter. And everything just auto populates. Now, if you add a game, and 
it doesn't populate. The reason being is you go into attract and you're going to go into ROM lists and let's say you were doing Atari Jaguar you have to ensure that your game name is right here before this first little thing make sure your game name matches that and also ensure that your ROM, um, your media files match as well which is in your ROM so if I were to go to ROMs and let's say Atari 2600 and I've got 32 in 1 game cartridge Europe so I'm gonna go to my wheel 32 in 1 game cartridge okay that matches and my snap and there it is and that matches and that's pretty much it guys it's that easy to install um, I am going to leave a link as well to the creator on on their how-to um, it's also on arcade punk so but I'll leave a link to that as well as on Facebook join um, hyper pie expanded it's a Facebook group and the, that's the, the creators on there always helping um, they got a lot more knowledge about this than I do um, but I've done everything I've just explained for you guys and everything's up and running perfectly for me so uh, hope you guys enjoy the build and thanks for watching